Hi everyone and welcome to another YouTube. I'm your host Sophia and today I'm bringing you Disc by Ellen Villa. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, definitely do. Definitely hit that follow button so you can know what shows are upcoming, which new styles are available, or what's changed about anything. So today, this style that I'm bringing you, this disc, as you can see, it's already styled. How did I do that? If you watch our live, so if you go to wigs.com slash or forward slash live, you will see me style this disc. So what I did, all I did was a little hairspray, my fingers, a comb, shaping cream, and on this one, a bobby pin. So those are all I used. I usually do not recommend bobby pins on wigs unless it's a basic cap. So you never wanna put that bobby pin through the monofilament or if it's hand tied, things like that. So just a basic cap. So for this one, all I did was spray the hairspray throughout and then I just took my fingers and rubbed right at the front and took the hairspray. You can see how that's nice and up there and it's nice and stiff and I just took the hairspray and kind of just sprayed it down right there and I took my fingers and just gently molded that like that, like so. There you have it again. So you have that side and if I want more on those sides, I'm just gonna take that same hairspray. I'm gonna try not to get my face, but. So there we go. Just some hairspray on the sides. Gonna mold that right there some more. And then I'll just separate. So let's separate those fibers so I get a little more of that va-va-voom look, you know? So I like that PC. And voila. Stunning. So and then this side, I went ahead and tucked it behind my ear. But if you don't want it behind your ear, you can always have it out. So keep in mind that this bang, because one person did comment that this piece is shorter than what it looks like. This bang right here is five to six inches. So just always remember, because this is a asymmetrical bob, so one side is gonna be longer than the other. So from here to here, the longest piece, I think is back here somewhere, that is going to be five to six inches because it is layered and because it has hairspray and that's how I want it to sit, that's how I'm gonna keep it. I have my little baby hair showing. I'm gonna tuck that in there. Oh, guys, this took me two seconds to do. You just saw that I did this swoop real fast and the height. I absolutely love this. And this is the nape. It's a very tapered nape and back here, so this right here is the nape area and this is 1.25 inches right here. And if you don't know where these measurements say, because you usually get front, side, back, front is usually up here. These are the bangs, the front, the sides are up here. Your crown is up here. So right at the, the curvature of your head is where your crown sits. The back of your head is right below the crown part, so right here. And then from here to here, around that fold, is where that nape measurement is. So every time you get wigs and you look at measurements, always consider those measurements. Go and see. They're saying the nape is this, the crown is this much. You might wanna measure from where your specific crown is, and that will give you an idea of how long the hair is and where it'll sit. So again, this is the disc that I have on. And this color here is the coffee brown lighted. It has browns with highlights throughout the top. You'll notice at the nape, you're not getting as much highlights as you do up here. So a lot of those face framing highlights. So you can see how much this brightens up my face versus when I put that black one on. Let me go ahead and do that for you. And let me just take this off. And because I've styled this, you're not getting the out of the box effect, but you can see how, how that bang is sitting. It's nice and high. So that's because I went ahead and styled it. If you want to see what it looks like out of the box, definitely, definitely, definitely check out that live and watch me style both of these from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on, and before I do, I'm gonna show you that I already styled this, I braided this, 
and I kind of went in and made it a little messy so I got a little more texture right here. So let's go ahead and put this one on. This is in that color black. I have the here. These are the adjustable straps. And look at the difference. So this one, I'm just going to kind of comb it down right here. You can see how edgy this is. I have the little braid and I put the bobby pin here. I kind of made this a little more disheveled. So I don't know which one I like better. I think this style is so versatile. It's super fun. You can go from super sleek high end to fun, edgy. I'm picturing maybe like if I was on the beach and I put a flower in my hair or even just out a night out and I want like a flower pop of something right here. I absolutely love this and I think I'm actually going to give it a little more edge. So I'm going to some hairspray in my hands. A little hairspray like so. I want a little more texture coming around here. So I think that's what I'll do. Guys, let me know what you think. Have you messed around with the disc before? I would love to know. Like, definitely let me know. So I'm just bending that hair. You can see in the back, I'm adding a little more, just, just some texturizing from that hairspray a little bit more. And there we go. This is the disc. So, and for everyone complaining about the frizz, that usually can be taken care of. Just use some shaping cream or some of the flex hold spray. And just spray it on the hair or the area that is too frizzy. And then just kind of manipulate that hair or you can even just rub your hands together and mold that hair. But because this is how I want it, I want some of that messy look. I'm just gonna lift that up a little bit. Even just kind of take my nails in there. And that's, oh, that is so cute. Okay, yeah, this is 10 out of 10 for me. Guys, let me know which one you like better. Do you like the black or do you like the brunette? And I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.